what we've all been waiting for. Oh boy, look at that. Oh my God. Hello everybody, Silver Picker here. And in today's video, I am going to be unboxing this beautiful package that is full of a coin collection from one of you guys. That's right. One of you guys sold me part of their coin collection and I have, oh my God, look at this. Look at that, that is absolutely incredible. Yeah, I bought a part of this gentleman's collection uh, several months ago and you can check out the video in the card over here, but this is another piece of the collection that he has decided to sell to me and I am super excited. I have no idea what's in here. He sends it to me blind and I evaluate the coins and I send him the money and we've developed a nice little relationship here. I mean, take a look at this, wow. We've got a bunch of US type coins in here. It looks like V nickels and Cupro nickel Indian head cents. Got some British stuff over here. Looks like we've got some German Notgeld and a tremendous amount of world silver coins among other things. So we're gonna crack into this and take a look at all of it together. So come along for the ride. Whatnot is the sponsor of today's video. Thank you for your support. Okay, I'm most excited to see these coins, these incredible world silver coins, but let's save that till the end and let's start with the American stuff, some good old US type coins. So let's just dump them out and we'll see what we have. So just to start, I see we've got a bunch of V nickels. We have a bunch of these Cupro nickel Indian head scents, and those differ from, let's see if we have any of the, uh, the normal ones. No, not so far. But basically, these ones are from the first few years of issue, and they are made out of a different metal than the ones that you're probably ordinarily used to. All right, let's take a look at these. We got zoomed in a little bit and we've got some nice stuff here. Nothing earth shattering, but nice stuff nonetheless. We've got a bunch of better date V nickels, albeit in pretty rough shape, but we've got some better dates there, including the uh, 1883 with sense and without sense. We've got seven, excuse me, nine of these uh, Cupro nickel Indian head scents, which are always great. Those are perfect for people starting their US type sets. I already have ones that are in better condition than this, so I don't actually need these for my own collection. But by the way, everything you see in this video that I'm not going to keep for my personal collection will be sold at my next Whatnot auction. If you don't know what Whatnot is, aside from being the sponsor of today's video, Whatnot is an incredible live video auction platform in which bidders and sellers come together in real time to buy and sell all sorts of really cool collectibles. Obviously, I'm mostly into coins and precious metals, but they've got everything. They've got trading cards, sports cards, comic books, video games, even sneakers. Basically, if you collect it, they have it. And if you use my link, whatnot.com slash invite slash silver picker to download the app, not only do you get access to the incredible platform for free, but you also get $15 in Whatnot credit to spend on anything you want. And I always have tons of really cool coins, including silver stuff, in the buy it now for $15 or less. So you can basically get any of these coins that you see here for free just by using my link and coming to my auction. So that's whatnot.com slash invite slash silver picker and get your $15 in credit for free. Don't sleep on this because that deal will not last forever. Anyway, back to these coins. Uh, we also have six slightly better date uh, wheat cents. We've got a 1912D, a 1922D, as well as a 1909P VDB. It's a little tough to see the VDB with this lens, but you can see it's pretty pronounced. It's a really, really good specimen. I can't wait to uh, auction that off at my whatnot auction. So that's it for this baggie of coins. Let's move on to the next one. Right. I really, really want to crack into these, but I want to save them to the end, right? I got to save the best for last, or what I think is the best at least. Let's take a look at these guys, because these are all in flips. So this might be some cool stuff. Oh, wow. These are some really cool things. Okay, so we've got a ancient coin, it's a Julian II from 360 to 363 AD. Now, it is in really, really rough shape. It's not that the camera can't pick it up, it's just in really rough shape. We've got another ancient coin in also really rough shape. This one is a Julian II as well. Ooh, this is really cool. This, I think I know what this is. Wow, this is made out of paper. This is made out of paper and it's a five centime uh, jeton. It's a French jeton, but it is made out of paper. I bet there's a little bit of paperwork, paperwork to go along with the paper. Yeah, that is really, really cool. It's a 1920 Toulouse paper token. Very, very cool. We've got, ooh, this is cool. 
This is a 1687 Austrian Leopold IV, first 15 Kreuzer coin. That is super cool. 1687, how wild is that? Isn't it crazy when you can hold a coin like that in your hand from so long ago? This is beautiful. This is a hammered silver coin. You can see it has, it looks like Mary and baby Jesus on the reverse. You can see it's a 1687. It is hold, but that is still a really, really cool coin. An Italian Duchy of Savoy, five soldi from 1795. Pretty rough shape. You can barely see what it says, but it is indeed from the 1700s and you can see the date. We've got, ooh, that is a really nice uh, ancient coin. That is a commodus from 177 to 193 AD, excuse me, 192 AD. That is really cool. Super high relief bust. This is a one skilling from Denmark from 1771. It's pretty crazy how these were like just used in ordinary commerce back in the day, 1700s. One skilling, Dansk. 1771. Walter Johnson baseball game token from 1925. That doesn't seem to fit exactly what we're looking at, but that's still pretty cool. I'm not sure what that's from. I'm sure it was some kind of like token. Maybe it was given away at a baseball game or maybe it was given away in like a cigar pack. Anyone who knows, put it in the comments below. And then finally, we've got a French jeton from the 1400s to the 1600s. Very cool. These are really, really unique. Some of these I might hold on to, but none of them actually fit in my actual own collecting goals. So you know what? I'm going to be strong. I'm not going to hold on to stuff that I don't need for my own collections. So all of this will be sold at my next whatnot auction. Maybe some of these I'll give away too. I always give away like hundreds of dollars worth of coins. And if you just show up, you have a chance to win. All right, let's check out these guys. This just looks like a mishmash of coins. This might just be like a bunch of really common and uh, not valuable coins, but we shall see. Quarter dollar Jamul Sovereign Nation. Oh, that is really, really cool. Wisconsin Potawatomi. Interesting. Okay, we have two of these, it looks like. These are, uh, I guess, you know, privately issued currency, probably from an Indian reservation. I have to do some research into that. Jamul Sovereign Nation, quarter dollar. That is really, really cool. I love coins from Micronations. Those are, that's a whole topic in and of itself, and I should do a video on that, and mark my words, I will. Ooh, cool, what is this? Five shillings, ooh, with nice ledge, edge lettering, 1953. I bet that's silver. We're gonna have to do a double check on that. Then we've got a 1977 Elizabeth II. Ooh, that's probably worth a little bit more now. That's a crown. I don't think that one's silver. Then we've got this General Motors token. These can be hit or miss. These are either like totally worthless or like if it's something special, it says 50 million cars sold. So that could be worth, you know, 10, 20 bucks. Two ore from 1766. Wild. Two ore, I guess that's from Sweden or the Netherlands or Denmark. That is so cool. 1766. We've got this coin from Hungary, I guess it's Hungarian or Austro-Hungarian, doesn't have a date, old, <laughs> from old. And we've got this guy, this is a weird one. This is Elizabeth II to Sedis, the Republic of Ghana. Interesting, and that is a thick boy. That is a thick boy. And that says, Titans of American Innovation, Jonas Salk. This is all sorts of weird. I do not understand this at all. It is a British coin, British Elizabeth, right? It is a Ghanaian coin and it is focusing on American innovation, that is absolutely bizarre. I have to do more <laughs> research on that for sure. This is really an oddball set of stuff, but I like all of it. I really, really like this, uh, this Micronation thing from Wisconsin. Super, super cool. If somebody has any information on this, put it in the comments below. I would love to learn more. All right, I can't hardly wait. We're almost there. We're almost at this big old bag of silver, but first let's take a look at these, uh, what looks like not geld coins. So these are the coins that were issued between World War I and World War II, uh, and these were the coins that uh, sort of represent German hyperinflation and ultimately what, uh, what led up to World War II. These are from all different communities and cities. This one says Trier. This one is from Kriegs, uh, it says Kriegsgeld. I think that means war money. And this one's from Siat Neuweid. 
Not 100% sure what that is. 25 Fennig, 1918, Kriegsgeld. Anyway, there are a whole bunch of these. I'm gonna put pictures of these close up on my Instagram, so you can check that out there. If you don't know, I am on Instagram as the Silver Picker. Check me out there, follow me, and uh, you can see some close ups of these guys. And here we go, what we've all been waiting for. Oh boy, look at that. Oh my God, that is a ton of incredible, incredible silver. Oh my God, I love this. This is what he told me when he said that he was gonna be sending me another batch of coins to purchase. He said he had a ton of silver coins from around the world and I think this is what he was talking about. The other stuff I think he just sort of threw in and figured I'd be interested in it from the based on the last purchase. Now I don't know if we're gonna be able to go through these one by one, but I'm going to organize them and take you on a quick little tour at least and uh, we'll be able to see what we've got. Holy moly. All right, you know what? We are gonna go one by one. This is pretty great. We've got a half crown here from 1920. We've got another British half crown from 1921. That's a really nice one. Uh, and another half crown from 1928. I'm actually just going randomly, but uh, I did pick out the bigger coins, but those just happened to all three be uh, British half crowns. We have a two kroner coin. This is from Denmark. That is awesome. Look, it has a freaking dolphin on it. And uh, oh wow, this one's from 1875. That is really cool. We have a, uh, a Nazi coin. This is from 1935. It's a... Uh, five uh, Reichsmarks. Uh, we've got a two Gilden, or one Gilden coin from uh, Norway. A, ooh, that's cool. I don't think I've ever had one of these. This is a 20 drachmae coin uh, from 1930 from Greece. Turkish coin. All these are silver, by the way. 50 kurus, 1935. Now, what's really cool, I'm not gonna say what every single one of these is. You can see it for yourself uh, on a lot of these. But what's really cool, and I've mentioned this in previous videos as well, What's really cool about getting a lot of coins like this is that there is a trend among collectors in the recent years where basically people try and get one of, of excuse me, I should say a typeset of collecting, where try, people trying to get one example of a coin from every single issuing body of all time. So every country, every principality, every, every single body that has, every single governmental body that has issued a coin, people want to get one example of each. So it's like a, a really massive undertaking uh, for the hobby. And it's something that I've always considered. And if I did it, I would also want to do it entirely in silver. Oh, this is cool. From Brazil. Wow. 1932. 20,000 rice. That is very cool. Canadian five cents, 1912. Another Canadian five cents, 1911. This one's bent. We've got a quarter golden from 1900. Ooh, from Curacao, very cool. So this is a Dutch colony, very cool. I've actually been there. I've mentioned that in previous videos, I believe. 1936 from New Guinea, very cool. Another Greek coin, 10 drachma. Ooh, what's this? Ah, one peso from 1950. I think this is only like 40% silver, maybe less actually. One franc from 1908, I believe that's a Swiss franc. It is indeed. Iconic coins that are still in use today. A Tunisian five francs, ooh, very cool. Ah, so there's gonna be some Arab coins here. I love that, I love that. Uh, one mark from 1875 from Germany. So we've got some really nice age on some of these. What is this? One lots from 1924, I think that's Latvian. Yes, Latvian Republic, very cool. I don't think I've ever had one of those before. This is an old one, probably German or uh, Austro-Hungarian maybe, tough to say. What do we have here, a teeny tiny one. Cannot see what that is. Queen Victoria, Canada, very cool. Is that uh, Wilhelm, yep, that's a 10th golden. So we've had a quarter golden, a 10th golden, and a one golden. What is this? This is a 1938 from San Marino, very cool. It is, of course, damaged because it was turned into a pin, but that is still very, very cool. That is a, that's probably a pretty rare one. Ah, Philippines. These ones are when the U.S. Uh, actually was uh, governing or occupying the Philippines. What is that? Canada, five cents from 1900. Another half mark from 1905 from Germany. I hope you guys enjoy this. Like I know, like this is for the real hardcore collectors that just want to see a bunch of incredible coins from tons and tons of different countries. I think this one is from Saudi Arabia, and I think this is actually my first coin from Saudi Arabia ever. This I believe is Japan. Yes, this is a 100 yen coin, silver. Obviously, all these are silver. 
Napoleon III. Okay, so we've got 50 cent, not cents, centime from 1864 from France. That's cool, from the French Empire. One shilling. So I'm curious to know, do you guys, how do you guys collect? Are any of you guys trying to do this incredible, insane, but awesome project of trying to get one coin from every country or every issuing body uh, ever? Oh, Hong Kong, to five cents, very cool. Um, I'm, always, I'm always debating whether or not I should do it. I mean, I want to, but it's a huge undertaking, and I already have these other projects, uh, these other numismatic projects and stacking projects uh, that I always want to do. Uh, that's another Nazi one. You can see the swastika there, 1933. This is a two uh, Reichsmark. So I'm, I'm split. Like, and also, by the way, because I bought this collection, I actually have a nice start. Like, I could pick out a bunch of these to keep for my personal collection um, and uh, start that process. And I also have like, an image in my head of how I want to do it. I've seen other people do it. So this isn't exactly my own, uh, you know, my own thought. But I love when people make these albums with the two by twos and they print out a little color flag of the particular country that represents that coin. Wow, this is cool. This is a one and a fourth. Uh, wow, where is this from? I think it's maybe Danish, but it's one and a fourth of whatever the denomination is. That's pretty cool. Another uh, Canadian coin. So yeah, I mean, I think it would be pretty cool. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll take some of the ones that are a little bit harder to find. In fact, I'd actually love your guys' recommendations of which of these coins I should keep uh, if I decide to do that sort of incredible adventure in numismatics. Another Turkish coin. This one's a bigger one. 50 kurus. Maybe that we already had the 50 kurus. 20 centavos from Mexico. Man, this is so cool. This is from Italy. 5 lira from 1927. 1910, is that a Greek coin? Yeah, that's a really cool Greek coin. The Greek coins are actually really nice, all of them. I don't get too many of them. Four skilling, 1842, another D Danish coin. Oh man, we're getting a bunch of these five centers from Canada. These are awesome, and people really love collecting those. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, uh, Newfoundland five cents from 1941. What do we have here? Ooh, this is cool. Vincent, five euros, this is a silver, Ah, I think I've seen this. This is, okay, Beatrix and Vincent. I think this is Van Gogh, and it's a five euro coin. I don't remember what year this is from, but I definitely have seen these before. Very cool, very, very cool. I didn't expect that to be in there. Something Centavos, Colombia from 1914. Ooh, what is this? This looks like Egypt. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think that might be Egypt, just based on the, the hat. Ah, another 50 centime from 1894 from France. Another British coin, or up, oh, excuse me, Canadian coin. Another German coin, 50 Pfennig from 1876. Ah, Panama from 1962. That might be the newest one we've seen so far. Latvia, another Lats coin from 1924. That's pretty cool that we have two of those. I've never had one of those before. Queen Victoria. Whoa, this is a cool one. This is one that I probably should hold on to because this I've never seen before. Straight Settlements. 10 cents from 1894. I don't even know where the straight settlements are. Somebody can uh, tell me that in the comments. Obviously, I can look it up on Wikipedia, but let me know. Let me know. That is cool. I, pro I think I'm going to hold on to that one for sure, just in case, right? That's just, a, just in case anyway. France, Napoleon III, another Mexican, 20 centavos. Ooh, Ceylon, that's pretty cool. So that's why I say like issuing bodies, not countries, because Ceylon, I believe, is Sri Lanka now. So Ceylon doesn't exist anymore, it's not a country. So this would still count for the collection though. This one's a hold coin, but it is 16 skilling, also from Denmark. That one's pretty old, 1856. Uh, threepence from Britain from 1920. Ooh, we got ourselves a little, very cool coin from Cuba. Very cool, these ones are really awesome. I love those. Ah, from the Papal States, one lira, 1866. What do we have here? Threepence, another threepence from 1920. Ooh, very cool, 100 francs from Morocco. Been to Morocco as well. Been to a bunch of these countries. The European countries, I've been to most of them. Philippines, have not been there yet. Would love to visit, United States of America, very cool. Got ourselves a five sen from Japan. That's one of the top of the lists for me in terms of where I want to travel. 1889, another threepence. 
This is province of Guangtung province from China, 7.2 candorines. Very, very weird denomination. Been to China. Ooh, this is a doozy. This is probably Iraq, I want to say. Maybe this is Iraq. Have not been to Iraq. Russia, or the Soviet Union, 1925. Another Turkish coin. I was supposed to go to Turkey, but my flights got canceled because of uh, the ongoing uh, Middle East conflict. 1904, one shilling. Very cool. We've got, ah, this is definitely an Egyptian coin. These are pretty, pretty cool. It's a hexagonal silver coin. And then it looks like we've got two in the two by twos. Let's take one out. We've got a one rand coin. So that's obviously from South Africa. This is a commemorative from 1970. I assume that that's silver, but I'll do a double check. And then last but not least, what do we have here? We have a 500 Belgian franc coin from 1990, obviously a commemorative, and I believe that that is indeed silver. Wow, very cool. And if I may say so myself, pretty darn cool how fast I got through all of those. And there you have it. This was an incredible collection. Oh my God, thank you so much to the person who sold this to me. Uh, by the way, I paid 75% of the market value of these coins for this collection. That's the deal that he and I came to. Uh, it's the same deal I had with him prior and he was happy with it. So I'm very proud to say I have a, another happy, satisfied return customer. And I really enjoyed going through this collection. This is one of the most interesting collections that I've purchased in a really, really long time. I'd love to know what you guys thought of this and what you guys enjoyed about it, what you guys are thinking in terms of your own collecting as it pertains to these coins. And I cannot wait to, uh, to get some of these up on Whatnot. It's really going to be a good time, and you definitely don't want to miss it. So again, whatnot.com slash invite slash silver picker. Uh, you really don't want to miss this next auction. Anyway, I make videos about coin collecting and precious metals investing and personal finance every single week. So if you like those kind of videos, you best hit that big old red subscribe button. Throw me a like while you're at it. Leave a comment. Say hello. Introduce yourself. I would love to get to know more of the community. So anyway, I've got a lot more awesome stuff coming down the pike. So stay tuned. And until then, Silver Picker out.